Is it just me? Or does it seem that a lot of people are getting pregnant? Like, super fast. The reason I'm saying this is... Or it has to do with people I know. Like, you know somebody in your in your class that you graduated with from high school. And you don't see them for like five years. You don't see them for five years. And when you do see them... Surprise! They're on their third baby. Yeah. Their third... Or they're married, or engaged, or engaged and pregnant, or on their fifth kid, or on their first kid. And of course you're like, what the hell? <laughs> what the H of a hockey stick? <laughs> you're, we're 22 years old. Why are, you, why are you pregnant for the third time? Or how many? Why? Are you, why? why would you want to do that? I mean, come on. Come on! But, I digress. And, um, yeah, I've just, I've been noticing things about people, like, they get married, they're like, I'm in love with such and such, and this and that, and da 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 and it's like, great, great to be you. No, it's not. But, um, yeah, my thing is, if you want to get married, fine, get married. If you don't want to get married, don't get married. Um... I think I just, in terms of school, I'm thinking of what I can do versus what I should do. And I think that's becoming a really big problem because there are so many factors and so many other classes I have to do. Right now I'm watching Degrassi, first season, second disc. Oh gosh, this is bad. It, I'm sorry. Grassy, the next generation. Okay, the junior high one was kind of bad, but I was so rooting for Caitlin and Joey. So when they did get together and then break up and get back together, I was rooting for them. I thought they could do wild, that they were going to, you know, it's going to be romantic. And then I saw School's Out. As far as I'm concerned, School's Out does not exist. Why? Because they took all of my favorite characters and they put them in a blender they added urine and feces and said, mixed it together and said, here, drink it. Drink it. But but it has urine and feces. Drink it, drink it. Okay? First, they take Wheels, a guy who lost his parents, and for like an entire freaking three discs plus, he complained constantly about him losing his parents because of a drunk driver. And he gets drunk and drives behind the wheel and kills someone's child. What? Wait, what? You mean to tell me that a man who was gun ho about not killing, you know, he was gun ho about not doing stuff, he, he was angry at the world, decides, oh, I'm going to go drink now, even though I lost my parents. And then Snake. Snake, who, who was, like, so cool, he just got bitchy. He got so, ugh. I wanted to shake him. I wanted to shake him and say, shut up, Snake. Shut up. And then Joey has sex with Tina. What? With Tina. You mean to tell me Joey would cheat on Caitlyn, who he actually cared about? You mean to tell me that Joey... The Joey Jeremiah that everyone talked about and constantly, whatever, he's going to go and basically cheat on Caitlyn. That's one thing that I'm pretty sure the character would not do, okay? There's, you know, he may be a whatever, but he would not do that. And then, the next generation, they have them get together and everything, and then break them up. And this time it's with Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith has to open up his mouth. And I like Kevin Smith, but I'm dreading those episodes because I know I'm probably going to want to shank Kevin Smith. And I'm going to be like, this is for uh, this is for destroying Caitlyn and Joey. <laughs> I'm going to get you, fat man. It's horrible. I know it's going to happen. I know as soon as I see it, it's going to happen because that's the exact same thing. I, I went in with a, it's going to be okay. Even though I... Read the synopsis for School's Out. I still said, it's going to be cool. It's going to be great. Blah, 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 blah. Watched it. I wanted to cut my wrists. 
I just wanted to just cut him and just like jump in front of like a, a moving van or something. That's how bad it was. I'm not really going to do any of that, but it was just bad. It was really bad. And it made me angry. It made me angry because it was bad. And these people were like, here's your characters. Oh, well. <laughs> and then, and then when they did the reunion for their Degrassi and the Next Generation, oh my gosh. I wanted, I wanted, I don't know what the hell I wanted. I don't, I don't know what the hell I wanted. I wanted something. And it just seemed that I'm, I'm not getting it. I mean, watching this, watching this, it's like, it's bad. In the sense that the characters, or the, the kids who are in it, just can't act. I know that's so horrible. Children, I, that's one of my pet peeves. I do not want to listen to a child sing, and I sure as hell don't want to listen to a child act. Reason for those two things is, are... Child's growing up, children mostly can't act, but people will often lie and tell them, "Oh, you can act." Look at say, look at a certain people. I was gonna say the person's name, but I stopped myself. I stopped myself because I know that if I ever become successful, I don't want said person who may have done coke and watched someone, you know, never mind, mm, giving too much away. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. That was told to me in secrecy. Ugh. I'm a bad person. Oh, I'm a bad person. I shouldn't tell you. I shouldn't tell you what somebody said about a child actor. Um. Moving on. Um. Yeah, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Okay. Talent. Okay. These are the actors that I deem talented. Like, I will actually watch a movie they're in because I feel that they actually have talent. Talent is something that I say does not come along that often. I argue that talent is a dying breed in Hollywood. I don't care if anyone hears me. I don't care. It's what I feel. Like, there are some movies where there are certain people where I'm just I'm shaking my head going, you gotta be kidding me. Ava Mendez Like, I tried watching the women. I really did try watching the women. I tried watching... Oh, I probably shouldn't say this. I tried watching... I tried watching the Nanny Di Diaries with uh, Alicia Keys. Sh she's an okay singer, but... She should stick to singing. Um, She was in the Nanny Diary. She was also on uh, Smoking Aces. And, um, some other movie, um, uh, I'm trying to think of another movie or so. Or Beowulf, who tried to act her way in Fighting Temptations. Or Dream Girls, or... Oh, great. Goodness gracious. Or Beowulf's little sister. Solange, or Salone or whatever the fuck you call, call her. Honestly, I don't know. Why the hell we always gotta give our kids really sh names? Do we not want our children to actually go and get a job? Hmm. And I know you're saying, oh, that's horrible, blah, blah, blah. That wouldn't happen. B.S. Okay? They did a study. They did a study that showed the children who had names that sounded like Tyrone, D'Amica, Shokrita, whatever, did not get hired at jobs more than the white-sounding names. Bottom line. Name your kid Sally. Erica. And don't be spelling it. E R Q I C H A E Y K A. No, 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 no. Spell it E R I C A. Okay? Or or name your kid Heather. You have a better shot with Heather. Or maybe America. But they might think you're too patriotic. Versus Nieva spelled in a, in a way that I'm not even going to try and spell it. Or name your child a Sholey, but spelling it A S S H O L E. Actual baby name. Actual baby name. Yeah. 